Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like maize on the cob, grilled or roasted corn on the cob, often served with a drizzle of butter and spices. Maize on the cob, often simply referred to as corn on the cob, is a popular street food and snack enjoyed in many countries around the world, including Zambia. It's a simple and delicious treat made from fresh ears of corn that are typically grilled or roasted to bring out their natural sweetness. Here's how maize on the cob is prepared and served. Ingredients. Fresh ears of corn on the cob. Butter, optional. Salt, optional. Spices or seasonings of your choice, e.g., chili powder, paprika, or lime juice for added flavor. Preparation. Select fresh corn. Choose fresh, unhusked ears of corn with green, healthy-looking husks. The corn kernels should be plump and in good condition. Husk the corn. Remove the husks and silk from each ear of corn. You can leave a small section of the husk attached to use as a handle while eating, or you can remove it entirely. Preheat the grill or roasting surface. If you're grilling the corn, preheat your grill to medium-high heat. If you're roasting it, you can do so over an open flame, on a stovetop burner, or in an oven with the broiler setting. Grilling or roasting. Grill method. Place the husked corn directly on the grill grates. Grill the corn, turning it occasionally, until the kernels are tender and have some char marks. This typically takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Roasting method. If roasting over an open flame or stovetop burner, use tongs to hold the corn over the flame, turning it to ensure even cooking. If roasting in an oven, place the corn on a baking sheet and broil it, turning occasionally until it's roasted to your liking. Serving. Butter and seasonings. While the corn is still hot, you can spread it with butter for extra flavor and moisture. Sprinkle with salt and your choice of spices or seasonings, such as chili powder, paprika, or a squeeze of lime juice for added zest. Enjoy hot. Corn on the cob is best enjoyed hot, and it's often served as a standalone snack or side dish at barbecues, street food stalls, and picnics. Use husks as handles. Some people prefer to leave a section of the husk attached to the corn to use as a handle while eating. This can make it less messy and easier to hold. Corn on the cob, whether grilled or roasted, is a classic and comforting street food that highlights the natural sweetness of fresh corn. It's a versatile snack that can be customized with various seasonings and condiments to suit your taste. Mangoes and other fresh fruits. Seasonal fruits like mangoes, guavas, and pineapples are commonly sold by street vendors. Mangoes are a popular and beloved tropical fruit enjoyed in many parts of the world, including Zambia. They are not only delicious but also nutritious, making them a refreshing and healthy street food option. Here's what you need to know about enjoying mangoes in Zambia. Varieties. Zambia, like other tropical regions, boasts a variety of mango cultivars, each with its own unique flavor, texture, and size. Some common mango varieties found in Zambia include the Kent, Keat, Tommy Atkins, and Hayden. Preparation. Mangoes in Zambia are typically enjoyed in their whole, natural form. To prepare a mango for eating, follow these steps. Wash the mango. Rinse the mango under running water to remove any dirt or residues. Peel the skin. You can use a knife or simply your hands to peel away the skin. Start from the top and work your way down, following the contour of the fruit. Remove the pit. Mangoes have a large, flat pit in the center. To remove it, Hold the mango upright and slice off the fruit on either side of the pit. You can then trim any remaining flesh from around the pit. Slice or dice. Once the pit is removed, you can slice the mango into thin strips or dice it into cubes, depending on your preference. Serving. In Zambia, mangoes are commonly served fresh and chilled, especially on hot days. They are often sold by street vendors, and you can enjoy them in various ways. Whole mango. Simply peel the mango, and eat it as is holding it by the skin or using a utensil. Mango slices. Cut the mango into slices and enjoy them like you would with any other fruit. Mango cubes. Dice the mango into bite-sized cubes, making it easy to eat with a fork or by hand. Mango smoothies. Some street vendors offer mango smoothies or shakes made from fresh mangoes blended with ice and a touch of sugar or yogurt. Mango with chili. In Zambia and other parts of Africa, it's not uncommon to enjoy mango with a sprinkle of chili powder or salt for a sweet and savory contrast. Mango Salsa Mango salsa, made with diced mango, onions, chili peppers, and lime juice, is a delightful accompaniment to grilled meats or fish. Mango Juice 
Street vendors may also sell freshly squeezed mango juice, which is incredibly refreshing. Mangoes are not only delicious but also packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, making them a healthy choice for a street food snack. They are a delightful way to savor the tropical flavors of Zambia. Sweet Potato Roasted sweet potatoes sold by street vendors, often served with a sprinkle of salt. Sweet potatoes are a popular and nutritious street food in Zambia and many other countries. They are not only delicious but also rich in vitamins, fiber, and minerals. Sweet potatoes can be prepared in various ways, both savory and sweet. Here's how they are commonly enjoyed as street food in Zambia. Roasted Sweet Potatoes Selection Choose fresh, firm sweet potatoes with smooth skin. In Zambia, orange-fleshed sweet potatoes are most commonly used. Cleaning Rinse the sweet potatoes under running water to remove any dirt or residues. Roasting Sweet potatoes are typically roasted over an open flame or on hot charcoal grills. They are placed directly on the coals or on a wire rack over the fire. Turning The sweet potatoes are regularly turned to ensure even cooking and to prevent them from burning on one side. The skin becomes charred and crispy, while the flesh inside becomes soft and sweet. Serving Once the sweet potatoes are cooked through, they are removed from the fire. Vendors often peel off the charred skin and serve the sweet, tender flesh in portions. Serving Options Plain Roasted sweet potatoes are often enjoyed plain, showcasing their natural sweetness and smoky flavor. With salt, some people prefer to sprinkle a pinch of salt on their roasted sweet potatoes for a sweet savory contrast. With chili, in Zambia and other parts of Africa, it's not uncommon to enjoy roasted sweet potatoes with a sprinkle of chili powder or other spices for added flavor and heat. With butter, for a richer taste, sweet potatoes can be brushed with butter or margarine after roasting. With peanut butter, a popular option is to dip roasted sweet potatoes in peanut butter sauce, creating a delightful combination of sweet and savory flavors. With ground nuts, crushed roasted ground nuts, peanuts, are sometimes sprinkled over sweet potatoes for added texture and flavor. In a stew, sweet potatoes can also be used as an ingredient in savory stews, where they add natural sweetness and thickness to the dish. Roasted sweet potatoes are not only a tasty street food but also a nutritious and filling snack. They provide an excellent source of energy and can be enjoyed on their own or as a side dish with other Zambian specialties like enshima or grilled meats. Fried Potato Chips Thinly sliced potatoes deep fried to a crispy texture. Fried potato chips, known as crisps, in some regions, are a popular and widely enjoyed snack around the world, including Zambia. They are made from thinly sliced potatoes that are deep fried until they become crispy and golden brown. Here's how fried potato chips are typically prepared. Ingredients Potatoes, select varieties that are suitable for frying, such as russet or Yukon gold. Cooking oil, vegetable oil or canola oil. Salt, for seasoning. Optional seasonings and spices, such as paprika, chili powder, or vinegar powder. Instructions Prepare the potatoes. Wash and peel the potatoes if desired, or leave the skin on for a more rustic texture. Slice the potatoes into very thin rounds using a sharp knife or a mandolin slicer. The thinner the slices, the crispier the chips will be. Rinse and soak, optional. Some people prefer to rinse the potato slices in cold water and then soak them for about 30 minutes to remove excess starch. This can help achieve crispier chips. Dry the slices. Drain the soaked potato slices, if applicable, and pat them dry with paper towels to remove any excess moisture. Dry potatoes will fry up more evenly and become crispier. Heat the oil. In a deep frying pan or a deep fryer, heat the cooking oil to around 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 minus 190 degrees Celsius. You'll need enough oil to submerge the potato slices. Fry the potato slices. Carefully add a handful of potato slices to the hot oil using a slotted spoon or frying basket. Be cautious as the oil may splatter. Fry the slices in batches to prevent overcrowding, which can lower the oil temperature and result in greasier chips. Fry the slices until they turn golden brown and become crispy, typically for about 2 to 4 minutes per batch. Keep an eye on them to avoid overcooking. Remove and drain. Using a slotted spoon or a wire mesh skimmer. Remove the fried potato slices from the oil and transfer them to a plate lined with paper towels. This will help absorb excess oil. Fried fish. 
freshly caught fish, seasoned and deep fried, often served with enshima or on its own. Fried fish is a popular street food and dish in Zambia, known for its delicious and crispy texture. It's often prepared using locally caught fish, and the method of frying may vary, but it typically involves coating the fish in a seasoned batter and deep frying it until golden brown. Here's how fried fish is commonly prepared. Ingredients. Fresh fish, tilapia, bream, or similar local varieties are often used. Cooking oil, vegetable oil or peanut oil. Batter or coating mixture, common ingredients include flour, cornmeal, breadcrumbs, or a combination. Seasonings, salt, pepper, and spices of your choice. Optional. Lemon wedges, hot sauce, or tartar sauce for serving. Instructions. Prepare the fish. Clean and gut the fish, removing scales and internal organs. You can also remove the head and tail if desired. Season the fish. Season the fish inside and out with salt, pepper, and any additional spices or seasonings you prefer. Common choices include paprika, garlic powder, and cayenne pepper for some heat. Prepare the coating. In a shallow bowl or plate, prepare the coating mixture. This can be a mixture of flour, cornmeal, breadcrumbs, or a combination of these ingredients. Season the coating mixture with salt and pepper. Coat the fish. Roll each fish in the coating mixture, ensuring that it is evenly coated on both sides. Shake off any excess coating. Heat the oil. In a deep frying pan or a deep fryer, heat cooking oil to a temperature of about 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 minus 190 degrees Celsius. Fry the fish. Carefully place the coated fish into the hot oil. Be cautious as the oil may splatter. Fry the fish until they turn golden brown and crispy on the outside, and the flesh inside is cooked through. The exact cooking time will depend on the size and thickness of the fish but typically takes about 5 to 10 minutes per side. Drain and serve. Using a slotted spoon or a wire mesh skimmer, remove the fried fish from the hot oil and place them on a plate lined with paper towels. This helps absorb excess oil. Serve hot. Fried fish is best enjoyed hot. Serve it with lemon wedges, hot sauce, or tartar sauce on the side for added flavor. Fried fish is a delightful and satisfying street food in Zambia. It's often served with enshima, stiff porridge, vegetables, or other side dishes to create a complete and flavorful meal. The crispy coating and tender, flaky fish make it a favorite among locals and visitors alike.